best of luck. Now, Rupert Perry jones is best known for his smooth-talking roles and now, of course, for crowning our stunning Miss Senior Citizen. Uh, apparently, though, he is turning to the dark side for his latest role in the ITV1 drama, The Last Weekend. About time. Where have you been? Have you bought your clubs, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, and there's no jeans, no cords, no shorts. How about we round it up to a grand? I can see it. You're in the golf. I've been given my cards by the medics. I've got an inoperable brain tumor. I'm going to die. I could murder someone tomorrow. Great rest. Here's to old friends and a great weekend. Oh, and a great weekend. <laughs> Can I say while that was playing that Emma was trying to get the twist? <laughs> <laughs> you just go, so is it this? Is it that? Is it this? Um, yeah, I, I watched um, half of last week's because I was very tired and yeah, fell yeah. asleep. I'm very sorry. I'll, I'll forgive you. But um, I am going to catch up before this Sunday's, and um, it instantly got me. It was fantastic it, from the beginning where it, it's suddenly narrated by. Ian. Yeah, which is odd. Like, you get the feeling you don't know if he's alive or dead. There's this sort of weird mist around him. It's kind of got this ethereal quality. I think yeah. it's, it's done well. I mean, it's because in the book, it's all from a first person. It's always difficult to transpose a book into a TV show when it's all written in the first person. So, so it's the story of, of two best mates. Yeah. Uh, you play the barrister, Ollie. Yeah. And then uh, Sean plays Ian. Ian, who's a primary school teacher. He's a primary school teacher. They were both studying law at university together, and one has gone on to be a successful lawyer, the other one decided to be a primary school teacher. And they head off for a weekend with their respective missuses. Yes. But there's trouble, isn't there, because um, Ian <laughs> had a relationship with your wife before you were with her. That's right. So and there's a lot of competition <clears throat> between the two of them. Yeah, and he f you sort of get that story throughout the next two episodes, but basically he, uh, he feels that Ollie stole her from him, really. And how does it Try play out? Well, I can't what, tell you how it plays well, hang on. Out. So, what are we allowed to talk about? We, we have to, <laughs> we have really to tease that we have you to can't tease anything, can you? We have to tease the people <laughs> who, who, who've missed the first one to catch up on yeah. the iPlayer and watch the second <clears throat> one. So, well, what can we tell? Well, in the what? next episode, things the uh, the level of the bet gets escalated. The money keeps going up throughout. Because so the two guys, when they go on the weekend, they decide to have uh, a, a number of sports which, they, which yeah. they bet on. Yes, and Ian's character is already in financial trouble. You've you find out. Whereas my couch, you know, a few grand here and there doesn't mean anything to him. And gradually the money goes up to thousands and, and thousands and uh, Ian really can't afford to lose. And this all stems back to the competition that they've always had throughout yeah. university. Yeah. Uh, we have a clip. Let's have a look. But we've uh, lost Archie. Hey, haven't he got a cab back? He got a... Where is he? Where is he? He's not here. He met some friends. He went to a music festival. He just came back to get changed. You met some friends? We're in the middle of nowhere. Will you listen to what I am saying? There is a music festival on. People come to it from all over the country. Right, so he's OK. He's, he's yeah. doing what he wants. But we miss our tennis. We don't get our game in. No, that's fine. That's just great. It's just terrific. Yeah. That pub we were at yesterday did have a pool table. We could... Pool? What are you talking about? This is, a, this is a triathlon, right? We're meant to be testing ourselves against each other physically. I mean, what are you talking about? Pool? Ollie, Ollie, will you just chill Yeah, why don't you just hey, stop hey, it? Hey, no, it's... Hey, hey. Oh, you see? He's so that's a... episode two. Yeah, well, because he's got a brain tumour, you see, he's, his emotions But does he have the brain tumour, is that...? Well, you'll have to find out. So you can't keep doing this. <laughs> because cause I want to know if there's anything between the two men, because they seem to be quite tactile towards yeah. each other. You won't tell me that. Yeah. Uh, you won't tell me if he's really got a brain tumour. You won't tell me well, who is really the bad one. <laughs> when I got, sent, when well, I got normally... sent the script, I was only sent the first episode, and then I read the book before I got the next two episodes. And when you read the book, you don't know as a reader where it's going. And that's one of the things that keeps you coming back, which is why I can't tell you. Because, I mean, the, the first episode was very much setting things up and showing you these four people and then setting the scene for what comes next. So um, you're just going to have to watch. And is it always from Ian's perspective? Yes, it's all, from Ian's, it's all from, from Ian's perspective, which, is, which again puts a funny slant on it. Because what you're seeing, you're not sure if what you're seeing actually happened or whether this is his idea of what happened. And gradually, as it goes through, you start to maybe see that maybe things aren't quite the way Ian says they were. OK, now, Holly Willoughby, who um, I would say has, has a, small, a small crush uh, on Rupert, has, has asked us to ask especially because um, in, in this particular drama, we do get to see your bottom. 
You do. <laughs> now, Holly she is very so interested. Uh, is that your real bottom or was there a bottom double? There's a bit of both. Really? Well, how, how do you get cast for a, a bottom double? Do you have to? I, I, don't, I wasn't involved in the car. I was very happy with my. So you can't my... pick your own bottom. No, it was more actually. It wasn't actually our bottoms that had to be doubles. It was more on the sort of the shape of our ourselves physically in the colour, right colour hair. Because there's quite a lot of underwater stuff that happens in the last episode. There's a big. I mean, I'm not reading this, but there's a big swimming race which kind of gets quite frantic, and so there's sort of shots. Is that where that's where sea. you strip off? Yeah, yeah. That's and this right. was. Shot in the North Sea. Yeah, and uh, in winter. A, a, well, it was April. I mean, we, when we were filming it, there were divers in dry, dry suits going out and setting bits of buys and things. And I asked them how cold it was. They said, "Yes, yeah, it's not too bad. You're going to be wearing a wetsuit, aren't you?" I was like, "No, no, no, no. We're completely stripping off." And he went, "Really?" Look you at see? the look on all the women's yeah. faces behind the cameras in the studio <laughs> here as, as you announced that you're stripping. We were told we had There's about... a little shot. <laughs> there he is. We were told we had about four minutes, maybe five minutes before hypothermia would set in. I mean, it really was freezing. And how many times did you have to do it? Oh, I said I'm only going to do it once. Just so you had once. to be on your game? Yeah, yeah, we just did it once. I would imagine, though, that hypothermia would be the least of your worries. Well, running in the, out in of the, the North sea. sea. Well, you're, you're running out of the sea again. You've got all the crew there and the makeup oh. artists and everything. There's over towels, and there's nothing you can do. I mean, you know, and it's freezing. So it wasn't very impressive, I don't think. Um, it's something that you, you do in your personal life as well, though, I've read. Not necessarily naked. <laughs> but oh, OK. I, so but it's I do not like... complete skinny dipping. No, I mean, if, if, if I'm able to, I would, yeah. But generally, I just like swimming. I just like <laughs> swimming in wild water, yeah. <laughs> and, and is it true, uh, in the notes that come through, that you were once torso of the week? Yes. Uh, well, where was that? Uh, that was in that a certain <laughs> weekly magazine. Yes, <laughs> I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed to say. I don't want to say. All <laughs> <laughs> you have become this huge sex symbol. Really? Yeah. Well, look. It doesn't, feel, it doesn't feel like that, really. Do you think I mean, that's because you're in your 30s, slightly older? It had that have happened in your 20s, maybe? Do you think it might have gone to your head a little bit? I think, I think it, the fact that it's taken me a long time to sort of get going as an actor has been a good thing. I think if I'd been one of those people who'd been lucky to make it in my late teens, early 20s, I would have fallen by the wayside in some dreadful way. I don't know. I don't a bit know. like Patrick. Turned to drink or something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fell off the wagon. <laughs> I, I, you know what I think it is? I think you're a sex symbol because you're a very handsome man. You're very mild-mannered. You've got the wedding ring. You're married. You've got a beautiful wife and kids. And women actually okay. like the fact yeah. that not only is he a hottie, but he's a family man and a bit of a cutie. No? So maybe Absolutely. single men should go out with a wedding ring on and they get more lucky. Is they that what do, you're saying? I, they? I think so. <laughs> do Down the supermarket with a wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a baby and a dog in the but supermarket. You that, from the that's apparently what you do. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Pleasure. Um, I can't wait for, for the next one, obviously. Yeah, I mean, and, it, it, uh, I can't stress now. It just gets better and better. And it's one, one of the best things I think I've been in. OK, very, so, very so the first one went out last Sunday, so you can catch up on the ITV player. Yes. The next one goes out this Sunday. Sunday, and then the following Sunday. And is it 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, ITV 1. Yeah. And then the following Sunday is the last one. Yes. Fantastic. OK, if you, if you do need a, a bottom double for anything else you're doing, I believe there's a prince... Uh, <laughs> there's, there's a prince in the palace who's available for, body, played, for bottom double work. I've played a prince. I've played sort of a fictitious prince of England. I think I got my bottom out for that as well. I, I think you've heard it first. <laughs> R Rupert is going to be Prince Harry in, in the Vegas <laughs> drama coming up on ITV very soon. Uh, Rupert, again, thank you very much. Um, Cheers, that fella. is it from us uh, before Scouting for Girls. Here is who's joining Eamon and Ruth on Tuesday. <laughs>